Bonjour everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching the, my video. Today we'll talk about Flames of War again. It's a late war box for the British or Commonwealth, the Daimler Armored Car Troop. It's a four vehicles. So what we got here is the box number BBX61. In the back, it shows you have two Daimler armored car and two dingo armored car so the content of the box is two Demler armored car two dingo and one unit car it's one 100 scale so 15 millimeter so what's inside the box first thing we have inside the box is one game card from flames of war so that's the stat for the two vehicle they are identical except for uh, and stay and firing and on the other side we have the composition of the unit you can have two demler two pounder one dingo for two points or one demler two pounder one demler little john one dingo for three point and we and we can add a dingo mg for one point so we can have four vehicle for four point or three point Second, we have the crew member for the vehicles. We have six crew member to be able to paint and install on your vehicle. So you have a choice of what would be the most or like that you prefer. Finally, we have two sprues. They are completely identical. So this one and the other are the same. We have the Dingo here and we have the two pounder Daimler is the details from both sides so you got your regular gun little john the two pounder the little john to two pounder and the dingo here with his mission gun that's built one of each first we're gonna build the dingo car it's really a few pieces to put together so it's gonna be really easy and fast to do you got your main frame of the vehicle and then you put one side and the other just like that so just making sure it fit apply some Tamiya glue and put it right there pretty easy not too difficult to follow and then we do the same to the other side and just like that you have the body ready next the top of the vehicle it should fit perfectly just like that I'm gonna just put some pressure after I put the glue so just put the glue all around and just hold it for a few seconds for the glue to to melt the plastic and you got almost your dingo complete there's three things to place is uh, the rooftop open so you just there's two little that right here and on top right there and it fit perfectly it's pretty good and you go you get your rooftop open put the front of the vehicle or of the cabin the front of the cabin where the window of a car is and you go you just have to put your machine gun 
right here and we are complete so the machine gun goes just like that I'm gonna just put it with the magazine behind the glass and you have your dingo completed really few step really easy to build it just unfortunate the details is pretty low there's no seats or that would be like a bit more look like next step build one of those Demler armored car let's build the Demler with his uh, little John gun it's really easy really just few more step then the dingo so we get the frame and the two side we start to glue those together first as the same it fit so we're gonna just apply some glue and it fit right there yeah just have to be careful this end is open at the back so those uh, light in front and box in the back the same principle on the other side And we have the basic shape of the vehicle. Next, put the back of the vehicle. It's a, those one with the tools. Fit well, there you go. And then when that is done, we can put the wheel on one side. So the option is pretty much, a, you see, there's the attachment <clears throat> you put it not like that but the longer on the side go on the frame here Go one wheel install and on the other side you can install those uh, centra that is meant for if you are in the desert and you may be stuck in the sand you use those to remove yourself from the problem of to be stuck in the sand it goes right there I'm gonna pass for now. We place the top of the vehicle. Let's go in the back like this. Always good to test how it goes. It fit perfectly, so we can glue it. never been cheap with the glue so here you go it fit well now that's the basic of the vehicle the frame is there let's go for the turret now before that we need to put some piece in front not this one this one here go in front of the vehicle should fit probably just right here and 
Now you have the option to put a magnet or one of those attachments for the turret. I'm gonna wait, I ordered some magnet online, so if they come in, we're gonna install the magnet, otherwise I can always put later the attachment that is provided in plastic. So let's put the turret together. Go this way. So you get a spot to put the magnet or the spot to put the the, the pin for the turret. That's the bottom is done. We can install the gun right here. So I install the little John. Just make sure this machine gun go on that side of the gun. Like that when you look it from the front, it's on your left from the top is that way. We install you can have it open or closed so basically you can decide to have it open or closed that is open open you just it's kind of a it show it slide out so we're gonna put the side on, that has two smoke launcher and the radio antenna base on one side and then the option to have close or open for the turret so I'm gonna I like to have mine open all the time so on my vehicle so I'm gonna put it open when you put it open you make sure that long one is sitting inside just like this so that your turret install like that that's pretty much complete you have the option to put J can a fuel and those uh, track aid if you go in the desert I'm gonna build the other dingo and the other Demler and we will start painting I just finished to uh, build my two Demler and my two dingo so now it's time to paint them I'm gonna use Tamiya dark green XF61 and uh, all my allied vehicle are paint dark green XF61 so I'm gonna show you the first step uh, I won't be recording much of the air, air paint because the compressors make lots of noise so I want to avoid that on uh, on YouTube so just to show you I'm gonna use dark green XF61 uh, to paint my vehicle so let's paint them let dry the, the dark green on the vehicle the next step would be to paint the tire on that so for this I'm gonna use Tamiya rubber black XF85 so I won't spend all the time painting those tires in front of you I'm gonna just paint a bit and then we'll move forward to almost complete just a little bit at a time try to do the contour of the tire just like that so you get the idea anyway so we'll go and complete that
to paint the shovel and the pick and the wig on the Daimler, I'm going to use oily steel 70865 for the metal part and old wood from Vallejo 310. And also I'm going to use the same color for the two cents made gun and also the brand gun. Now that painting is almost done or mostly done, it's time to put some decals on those vehicles. Uh, you can see there's a little white. The reason for that is better front or Flames of War don't provide any decals for those vehicles. So I have to make mine or purchase uh, the, those decals. But because presently I'm making a Command Walt, Command Walt Forces, it is the 3rd Canadian Infantry Division, Flames of War, Late War. So I have to make numbers that will fit with that and Battlefront or Flames of War doesn't provide it. So what I did is I start by apply a gloss varnish where the decals will go. Then I paint white because it's homemade decals and if I don't do that uh, you will not be able to see the decals because it's a laser print but it's not like print on the white paper that really make it the decals stand out so I have to put white in it then I put the decals and if there's a white that is over or overflow on both sides uh, around the decals then I just paint back the dark green on the vehicle and you don't see it so for that I'm going to use microset for installing the decals and this is my own main decals. As you can see, I made it a lot because it's eight and a half by 11 sheets. So I have no choice on that. I'm gonna have to use the other sheets for one time. And what I did is pretty much pre prepare for one Canadian and Div headquarters in case I decide to make it mid-war vehicles. My third Canadian infantry uh, flag, it's a dark, it's gray with gold maple leaf. And then I have the armor regiment, infantry unit, infantry unit, and 41 that is green on top and blue on the bottom is for my reconnaissance unit. And you can see I already cut the numbers to prepare it. So I'm just getting ready to put them on. So when we talk about the number 41, it is the seventh reconnaissance regiment that is the 17th Duke of York's Royal Canadian Usars, and they are from Montreal. So my unit will be the Duke York's Royal Cam Canadian Usar. Let me say that again. The Duke of York's Royal Canadian Usar from Montreal, where the reconnaissance unit for the 3rd Canadian Infantry Division. So let's install some decals on those Demler and Dingo. I'm gonna just prepare it. I'll prepare already. Let's install the division color and the unit number on the vehicle. I take a bit of micro set. I'm getting low. The reason for that is because uh, every time I use it, it seems like I put it on this side and I lose a good part of it, a good chunk of it on the desk. So while the chemical do effect on the decals, I apply some decal set where the decal will go. On this side would be the number 41 for the unit and on that side the divisional colored. Here you go. Then just with the tools or anything you just put it at this place. You take one of those swab and you take the extra of the decal set. Do the same on the other side. It's coming right, right, right there. Let's place it at this place. You can take 
some extra and then you just have to look if this is pretty straight and at the same height as the other one if it's not the case you can readjust a bit like that and if this is that a bit too much you just put that there and you can see the number disappear when it's that white so, uh. So now let's place the 41 on this place. You just have to make it straight. We go, that's about straight enough. When you're satisfied, you take your swab, remove the excess. And you just have to let it dry. When it's dry, I'm going to put some varnish on top of it and remove all the white paint that may be seen over the decals. So you got the idea. I have plenty of other vehicles to do. And when it's all complete, we'll come back. I just finished to install all the decals on my vehicles and I paint anything that was white shadow around the decal so there's no white it's all dark green and you can see the tools everything but the vehicle is still a bit shiny as we can see there so my intent is to work and dust up the vehicle a bit especially in the bottom there a bit on top but mostly the wheel under the vehicle would be a bit more dust and lightly dust on top of that for that i use from hopterong 502 what we call abt003 dust so that's our base uh, paint the reason i do that is once everything is varnished, I can apply that oil paint base and then because I can use the thinner to remove most of the dust if there's too much dust at some point. So if I use a water base, I cannot really do any thinner on the job. I would just start to remove all the paint and the base paint as well so for that i prefer to use oil base color dust and we will do some so let's just start but just put a bit to show the idea then uh, <clears throat> without comments and everything like that i gonna just do all the dust and we would present the I would present the vehicle when all the dust effect have been placed on the vehicle but just to give you an idea here I just apply a bit the dust effect I make sure that I try to go everywhere because the dust would go everywhere except where we so you get the idea I can just apply a bit of dust like that and uh, let it dry as it goes I don't need this I'm just uh, under the wheel over the wheel behind the fender under the fender here and with the the thinner that will help me to reach difficult place so you get the idea slowly 
making a bit of dust effect on the vehicle. So that's one side here. So you can see it's still shiny but a lot less and as you I put a bit of the thinner and just brush it and it will remove some of and also help to uh, apply the, the dust everywhere under so you got the idea just like this I complete the vehicle and then we can come back with the final project on that vehicle. Just complete the dust effect, as you can see, it's slightly dust, not, not too much. And also I try to make like a spot of uh, dirt accumulation so you see, you take uh, the tip of your bristle, you dip it in the oil paint, and you just tap on top of it like this, and to make that effect of accumulation of little spot, to make it a bit more realistic. You don't have to make more. It doesn't have to be uniform everywhere, because the dust doesn't apply uniformly on the vehicle. It just kind of apply by itself. Here's the turret of the little John also with the dust effect it remove the glare on the gun so it's a good thing for that and here you have it my demler complete so i have another one to do and the two didn't go here my uh, scout vehicle the demler armored car and the dingo completed with all the color all the weathering and even install some antenna at the end of it so we'll go see more a bit more in detail right here the vehicle for the antenna what i do is i use a paintbrush bristle i cut them then i super glue to the antenna base and that's what completed i have to be careful a bit because there's no magnet, there's no attachment. I ordered some magnet online. I don't know when I will receive it. <clears throat> so here you go. That's for Little John Demler Hammer Car. We have here the Dingo. Completed. So pretty easy, not too difficult to make. Easy to paint. So I hope you enjoy. I'll finish that with a few pictures and that complete my scout vehicle from my 3rd Canadian Infantry Division. Thank you for watching. See you soon.